here are results of the protein gel. This is where you start your analysis. This is the marker lane. So this is lane 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I, this is my record of lane assignments. 2 and 3 are Sharp, 4 is Libert, 5 is Markers, 6 is Ravenna, 7 Campos, 8 is Hoffs. Interpretation of the markers is here. The smallest band is 10,000 grams per mole, 10 kilodaltons. 15, 20, 25, 20 and 25. Big gap to get to 37, then 50, 75, 100, 150, 250. So, you use this as your standard for figuring out what protein molecular weights do you have in your sample. So I'll use this one, it's fairly clear. This band here is between the 50 and the 75 kilodaltons. So it's probably something like 55 kd, 55,000 is its molecular weight. These two bands on the other hand are between 37 and 50. So maybe this is 39 and 41, somewhere in that range, uh, their molecular weight. The beta-lactamase itself, the enzyme we're looking for is 27 kilodaltons. So I go to the 25 and the 37, here's the 25, here's the 37. Uh, I'm thinking it's this band right here. This is the beta-lactamase. Since it does show up as a band, that's a good sign. That means it is abundant enough to show up as a stained band. Uh, some of these other proteins you can see very, very faint. There must not be much of those proteins in there. Comparing the different groups, they all look about the same. Some groups have more of this high molecular weight protein up here. That's between the uh, 75 and the 100, very close to 100 kilodaltons. So what will happen next week? You'll take your paraplasmic extract, which is this mixture of many proteins, try to enrich this one that we're interested in, and we'll do that with ion exchange chromatography and possibly with some size exclusion uh, strategies. Since this protein of 27 kilodaltons is quite a bit smaller than this one of 40 something, uh, we may be able to separate them on the basis of molecular weight. We could cut the protein out of the gel and get a fairly pure sample of the beta-lactamase, but it would have no activity. The enzyme is dead on this gel, and so that's not a not a useful way of isolating the protein if you want to keep its activity. If you just wanted to know what is the amino acid sequence, it's conceivable you could do it by excising this band from the gel and trying to figure out what is the sequence of amino acids.